Hello Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome Cross Watchers. I'm going to be taking a look and seeing what's manifesting for you all. What's going on right now in your current situation with you, the person on your mind, if any, and what you need to know. So whenever you do see this, it will be the right time. As always, take what resonates and leave out the rest. Practice using your own discernment. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all social media, TikTok, Instagram. I am spiritually goldie on all platforms. And if you're interested in a personal reading done by myself, I will leave all of that information in the description box below. So let's get into this Aquarius. Ooh, Nine of Cups, Queen of Cups, Nine of Swords, Six of Wands, Devil Reversed. Wow, transformation. Spiritual awakening, your crown, your crown chakra is opening. It's, you're going through your own spiritual awakening, your own um, realization uh, over what has kept you attached to things, um, what has taken power away from you, okay? It's like this realization of, um, spiritual awakenings and the crown chakra is connected to non-attachment, okay? Non-attachment to things, to people, to um, what we do for a living or materialism. It's like you are finding so much peace, so much happiness in your life. Your whole life is about to get brighter. Your whole life is about to get more peaceful, more more vibrant okay just a lot of vibrant energy the grass is greener it's like you're you're realizing um that things that you feared or you thought would be hard turns out to be a lot easier or a lot better than you thought okay Nine of Swords. So you may be in this energy of like maybe having trouble sleeping at night, fears, afraid of um, the unknown, uh, feeling threatened in some way. What is this worry about? Stress. The sun. The lovers reversed. Okay. So it's like you are realizing something is like no longer in your life anymore or someone, lovers reverse, this could be a relationship, a breakup, um, a separation or something. You're realizing something and in this realization, you're, it's like through this realization, you're being set free. You are being set free from something that had just kept you stuck or held you back from an authentic type of happiness, authentic type of peace in your life. Okay. Moving forward, you are finding unconditional love, unconditional, no conditions, a love that has no conditions. And Queen of Cups here surrounding you. This is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This could be someone in your current energy or someone who you're going to meet pretty soon. With, uh, who has, who's very in touch with their feminine side. Very soft, very gentle. Gives love. And loves to show love. Okay? They're saying everything is going to be okay. Whatever you're worrying about, everything is going to be okay. This is just part of your success story. Six of Wands. It was. It's all a part of your your journey, your success. Okay. It's like you can feel it in your heart. 
your heart is guiding you to clarity, okay? And I feel like some of you are going to focus more on friendships this month or for the next few months. I do see a focus on friendships or new friends or getting closer to to friends around you, companions. I'm seeing a dog here. So some of you have pets and you are focusing on getting closer to uh, someone or something that has given you a lot of and shown you a lot of loyalty. And what I'm really noticing, it's funny because like I use this deck pretty often and I've just realized <laughs> that these two are the same. This is the past and this is the present. I feel like you're reflecting on the past, reflecting on the present with um, someone who's shown you a lot of love, a lot of loyalty and allowing yourself to be more present or be more connected to that to that person or to that thing. Okay. Okay. So what is this three of swords about? Someone around you is hurting. Some of you maybe you feel like you were part of this person's pain and it hurts you. Yeah, it feels like they um you feel you may feel like they've pushed you away and you're wondering oh my gosh did i just mess this up did i um did i just lose this okay but again they're saying everything is going to be okay everything is happening a reason for a reason and it's a, it's a part of someone's uh, spiritual awakening Tell me about this grass is greener for Aquarius. Okay, so on the other side, the other side of fear, they're saying that things are better. So I see you really, I'm hearing I'm not afraid anymore. So you're moving into a place where you are not afraid anymore. You are releasing fears. You're releasing any jealousies, um, triggers feels like something is having it has to be dealt with now that has been left unsaid unfinished it's being dealt with now so that moving forward there's there's uh this type of unconditional bond between you and someone Now, someone really cares about you, or again, you could be meeting this person, this Queen of Cups, who is going to be very loving, very caring. But if you have someone on your mind currently, you can think of them and let's take a look and see how they feel about you, about this situation with you. Ace of Cups. So that's confirmation. Um, this person's heart is open to you. And... I feel like, you know, I feel like this person is someone who has like locked up their feelings for a long time. They've put their feelings away. They've looked at things logically and their heart is like bursting open for you. This person feels love. They feel unconditional love. For some, this may be someone who is um at a distance with this globe over here or this is someone who travels a lot this is someone who is really out in the world okay so for some reason i'm seeing that this person felt like you had a attacked them in some way Looking at you is the page of wands reversed. Okay, ace of wands, like five of cups. Something something happened here where this person felt as though for some of you you may have gotten jealous or you said something that you didn't mean or did something you didn't mean. And this could be what this worry is about. Um and I do see this person right now feeling like They've kind of like 
put their defenses up. It's like, I'm hearing unintentionally. I feel like you unintentionally said or did something here. And this is someone, you're dealing with someone here who has closed off their heart for so long that like the smallest thing kind of like throws them back into their shell. And it does look like towards this month that they may be still in that shell. Even though there's a lot of love. Okay. But they... Their intentions is to take a leap of faith with you. Page of Cups. A message, an invitation, a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. They want to make future plans with you. But they are focusing on creating some boundaries right now. Okay. But they want to maintain a stable foundation here. Six of Wands. This is success. This is validation. This is things moving towards a better place. Okay. You being uh, publicly seen or feeling like in, in some way... Your intentions are, your true intentions are being made public or there's a lot of people that in some way are like saying positive things about you to this person or standing up for you in some way. I, I'm seeing like a lot of a positive feedback is what I'm hearing. Validation. Like your... Your intentions being validated. I'm hearing lost in translation. Something was lost in translation or, or the way that maybe something happened it was like not absorbed or not taken in the right way, in the right context. Um, but they're saying all is well. Yeah. Okay. Harfin. Uh, things are not over. There's unfinished business. Um, but there is a closure coming in, an opportunity to create closure. I'm seeing the number is 9, 9, 6, 14, 13. Those numbers could be birthdays, special days, synchronicities. I'm seeing the letters S, W, G, E, U, A. Those letters could be in your name or someone else's name. But with that said, this is what I'm seeing. If it did resonate, let me know. If you made this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have an amazing and blessed rest of your day. Bye.